Welcome to the ACS Daily News. Attleboro State's Representative Jim Hawkins and Representative Lindsay Sabadosa recently filed a bill to delay the date by which public schools must reopen for in-person learning. The current deadline for elementary schools to reopen is April 5th, and the bill would delay that date to April 26th. The representatives filed the bill with the aim of providing school administrators with more time to receive a COVID vaccine. We spoke with Representative Jim Hawkins to learn more. Last week, I filed Bill HD 4101 together with Representative Lindsay Sabadosa from Northampton. Desi wants to reopen schools fully when teachers have not been vaccinated. And sadly, what, what we know and doesn't show in any of the data is several even younger teachers have gotten very sick from COVID. I know of at least one 30-year-old that's got uh, long-haul symptoms from this. Uh, it's, a, it's an issue for them. We're asking teachers to go into a building with hundreds of living, breathing human beings who could spread the virus to them. So this is not a not makeup problem. And I, I got it that we would never have full safety from, from people in the building from COVID. But vaccination would assure them of a, an acceptable level. The bill just says to make the vaccines available to teachers and delay the opening of school until after April vacation, which is only another three weeks, which would give them time to take the vaccination and the, for the recovery time for it to be effective, the two weeks for it to be effective so they could be assured of some level of safety when they go back. School's still gonna open, just let the teachers get back, teachers and staff. That was the difference between, this kind of happened, the governor wasn't gonna give any priority to teachers, but Biden did, and CVS gets their vaccines from the federal government, not from the state. So a week ago, CVS started offering it to teachers, uh, Baker kind of had to, but he's offering it to teachers and staff, but that does not include volunteers, paraprofessionals, maintenance people. Our bill includes everybody that's in the building. Every adult that's in the building should be vaccinated. I mean, vol parent volunteers come in, they wouldn't be qualified under the governor's priority, and they're exposed to the same risks. So maintenance workers, people that work on the heating and ventilation system that's so critical, they're not covered under the governor's uh, priority for teachers. One of the newspaper headlines in Western Mass said only Representative Sabadoza wants to delay the opening of schools, which is not anywhere near the whole picture. We want the reopening of schools. Uh, teachers' jobs are easier if they're in front of the kids. I can't imagine teachers trying to juggle some students online and some in front of them all day long. I think my head would explode. And for teachers, it's also gone into evenings because now that it's online, they're getting messages well into the evening and first thing in the morning, which they did not have with in person. So teachers would like to be back. Uh, families have obviously been upset for, uh, for a long time. It's been chaos, chaotic with having kids home that wouldn't normally be home. And the kids are missing their peers. Uh, uh, that's, that's undeniable. Uh, but it needs, to be, it needs to be safe. That's still the priority is to be safe. And without the teachers being vaccinated, it's not. Because it just doesn't seem right to ask teachers to go back into the building. If you want, if you want in person, you would think that you would want to take care of the teachers. Uh, it, it just seems logical to me. Uh, and so far, I've gotten a lot of uh, thank gratitude from people for doing that. It only makes sense.